everyone. I'm Hana and I'm hiking the PCT this year in 2019 and welcome to my channel. So there has been something circulating in the hiking community where everyone is showing their luxury items that they take when they hike or backpack and I was called out by Ahu Nui I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, outdoors. And he is really fun to watch. He has some really good information on gear and I really enjoy watching his videos. So you should go check him out. But today I am going to show you the luxury items that I'm taking. And essentially a luxury item is something that you don't need when you go backpacking. Kind of just what most hikers usually wouldn't take. And I'd say that I have a pretty hefty luxury item. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is my camera. <laughs> so if you guys have watched my first gear video that I posted out of just the gear that I had so far, you saw that I am going to take one of my Sony cameras, which is pretty heavy. I think the base is probably 1.5 pounds. So all those people who are trying to do ultralight hiking, it might not be within their their weight budget but for me I love photography and I can't go without it as far as the lenses that I'm taking I don't know what lens yet but I know it's gonna be a light one because I don't really want to carry <laughs> six pounds of camera gear on the trail so stay tuned I will have another video going over what camera gear I will be taking once I decide and probably get a lighter lens. For those of you who are thinking about taking cameras on the trail, there are some really light options. Some DSLRs are pretty light even though it's heavier than what most people would like to take for a camera, but it is an option. There's also the Canon G7X and that's a really popular camera because it has a flip screen so if you're thinking about vlogging or taking selfies or something like that that's a good option if you want to go a little bit further than just a smartphone but a smartphone is great for taking photos and videos I'll be taking most of my videos I think with my smartphone because I can't really hold this camera out <laughs> this far and take a video for every day on the PZT, which is what I plan on doing. So yeah. Okay, right, the next luxury item that I'm taking with me is my pillow. I have tried this out only a couple times, so I can't say anything to its durability, but thus far it's been really good. This is the Sea to Summit pillow. Yeah, so it looks like this when you unfold it and this material is a lot softer than I expected, so this is really nice. You could probably just like sleep on it just like this, but I might not. I might put my buff over it when I sleep, but we'll see if I continue to keep this on the trail. I think it's nice to have a pillow, but I might just fill up my uh, clothing bag with an extra jacket if it's not too cold and then just use that and ditch this. But for now, when I start the trail, I will be taking this. And there's one really cool feature that I absolutely love about this pillow. So I, <laughs> when you're blowing up an air mattress, you have to like try to cap it really quickly to <laughs> try to not let any air escape. But with this guy, the seal right here, there's two ways you can open it. So. If you're just opening it and inflating right here, you can see there. And you just blow it up. There's air in here. Cool. <laughs> yeah, the air in here can escape even though you can still blow into this guy. I really like this. And then once you want to actually deflate the pillow, there's a second tab you can pull. And then you can squeeze it all out. So that's really awesome. So I will be taking the pillow on the trail to start out. And the last luxury item that I'm going to be taking is again a bit heavy, but 
So far, I, I, I think I'm pretty happy with it. It is the InReach Garmin. So this is the Explorer Plus, and it has a wide variety of apps that you can use. So it comes with the weather, which I think would be really helpful. You know, you don't need it, but I think in my mind, it would help me prepare for what's to come. If there's going to be a rainstorm or like lightning on the trail, maybe I will go into town that day. So I think this is going to be really good. And there is an InReach, I think it's like the Explorer Mini, which is also available. And it is lighter. I think it's half the weight, but I like this one because you can use the GPS on this screen where the mini you have to use your phone. So this still does pair with your phone to use uh, like the GPS and you can also have texting on it but you do need to buy the plan. Yeah another thing is just in case for some reason my phone dies I will have a backup GPS system and I like that sense of security and Maybe that'll change and maybe I'll see if I can get REI to let me switch to the Mini, but for now I will go with the Explorer Plus. And one other thing that I do like about the Explorer Plus as compared to the Mini is the, the life duration. So this guy can last up to, I think it's 100 hours of battery life. Yeah, like five days. <laughs> four days <laughs> yeah four days so it can last probably most stretches that I'll be doing on the trail or just like most of that time and then I can use my battery pack to charge the rest of it but the Explorer Mini only gives you 50 hours and that would mean I would probably have to charge it each stretch that I went which one might be annoying but also then that battery powder like didn't go to my phone and then I'll be using my phone more with the mini because you have to use your phone for the GPS. But here I will just be using this guy. So I think that'll be good for now. Yeah, we'll see. I might change it. Yeah. So those are my three luxury items and two of them definitely reasonable. <laughs> my camera, I don't know if I'll end up keeping it. I, I think I will because I love photography and I think that that weight will just get me through the trail because I'll just be so inspired to go and take photos. Maybe it'll help me through those rough times. Remind me why I'm hiking the trail, which in part is because it's a great adventure, but also I love photography and it would be amazing to go to those remote areas and take pictures of the whole experience and the people and I'm really excited to get out there with my camera. Yeah. So as I was challenged, I have to challenge three more people to film or I guess Instagram their luxury items. So I will be putting their links down below. So the three people I am challenging are... Oh. I should probably tell you I am at a, <laughs> a park right now which has a lot of eels and herons and I just saw one fly by and I'm also here to do some photography of them. So I got a little distracted. All right, so the three people that I am challenging are that girl who hikes, also Sarah, and she has a YouTube channel. She's only posted an intro video thus far, but I think she is going to vlog her experience on the PCT this year. So go check her out. And I wanna see what gear she's taking for this trail. And Wilderness Pratt. And I'm really interested to see if he's actually taking any luxury gear on the trail. I, I hope so, but he is hiking, or he, he's like trying to hike it, I think like two months or something. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, he's trying to beat the record, the speed record of hiking the PCT. And 
yeah, go check him out. He is part of the Trek. I don't know if he's done any videos yet for the PCT, but he does have some stuff on YouTube. And lastly, I've recently just started watching his videos. He's hiking the PCT this year, and he started January 30th. It is a second chance hiker, and he is so inspirational and such a good watch. He's such a good, he's always in a good mood, and it just always brightens my day watching him out on the trail, and also gets me so excited for getting out there, and Makes me antsy too. I want to get out there. <laughs> yeah, so I want to see what he has for his luxury gear and all the rest of those too. I'm excited to see what they are taking on the trail as their luxury items. So stay tuned. I'll put their links down below. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.